Step 5. Enter survey data into CTIS. Once you have gathered responses from all your students, you will need to convert them into electronic format using the CTIS application. Log into CTIS using your MIS account information, mouse over the data entry heading, and then click on the follow-up link. From the follow-up building list, click on the pointing finger button beside the building name to view your student lists, program information, and survey statuses. By clicking on the headings at the top of the student's grid, you may sort the list according to your selected category. Search fields also appear at the top of the grid to help you organize your information. To enter survey responses for a student, click the Survey button within a student row. The Update Student Contact panel will open, allowing you to enter notes and update contact information before entering survey data. You may also indicate that the student was unreachable by selecting one of the non-contact reasons indicated in the drop-down menu. Next, click the Begin Survey button. From the drop-down menus at the top of the follow-up survey screen, choose the program that was discussed during your interview as well as the type of survey you completed. Enter the responses as coded on your survey forms, then complete the data entry process by clicking the Complete Survey button at the bottom of your survey screen. Your responses are saved, and when you return to your student list, you will notice that your student's survey status has changed to complete. To view completed survey responses, you may click the Review button. In order to edit your survey, you will need to clear all previously saved responses. Click the Back button at the bottom of the Review screen, Then click Redo Survey at the top of the Update Student Contact panel. Be aware that this will clear all current responses and you will need to re-enter data for the entire survey. For this reason, it is a good idea to make sure you have printed hard copies of all your surveys after they are completed. Click on the link called Step 6, Complete the Report, to learn how to submit your data to your fiscal agency authorized official.